So welcome to my review of the TR and EMX. These are earbuds. And I thought I'd give these a try because it's been a while. And yeah, they do have detachable cables, which we'll see in a bit. And they do look um, quite premium. So anyway, full disclaimers, I'd like to thank Linsol for sending this sample for me to try. So thank you very much. I was not paid to do this video and all thoughts and opinions are my own. And yeah, it's good to try something different every so often. So yeah, let's see what these uh, earbuds are like. So flagship, allegedly flat head ear earplugs. Well, they're just earbuds and that's what they look like. Nothing on the back. Good to see that they're detachable, which is kind of unique. Let's get the, one of these out. So look, kind of normal, nothing special. Build quality seems um, very good so far. Vent there, obviously the two pin plug. That says R, the other one should say L, and this is a typo. It says L. So yeah, not, not too bad so far. Bit of paperwork in the bottom. Little kind of kind of felt material. Not too bad. Didn't expect that. A real clip as well. Yeah, didn't know that that was even included. So let's see what the cable's like. So actually, he's one of them. I didn't know that. Okay, so this is modular. So it's got the 3.5 on there. That's the 4.4. That feels like 2.5, but yeah, you can see how it lines up. Yeah, at least it takes a bit of force to get off. So that's quite cool. I like that. So connectors. Not colour coded, sorry, colour coded, just the letters L and R, which are quite small. So these are around the back of the ear. So these fit like an IEM, which is kind of weird. So I'd have to see how that fits, but cable seems all right. Um, and yeah, so that's it. I think this actually is the actual foams. Yeah, so it's the they're not donuts, but it's, it's the normal foams. So you get, oops, I dropped one. So you do get four. And yeah, so I haven't tried this so far. I'm obviously got to put a bunch of arrows on them, see what it's like, and see how they fit with that kind of over ear kind of fitment, which is kind of odd. And yeah, so I'll see you in the future. Yeah, so welcome to my review part of the TRN uh, EMX. And yeah, this is the cable it came with. Obviously, I've shown you in the previous clip. It seems to be the same one that's on the ST5, which is good. But I think it works better on that model than this. So these are a over-the-ear earbud. So for example, that's what it looks like. I'm going to go over like, a little picture now of what it looks like fitted on me, so you can see what it, you know, what it actually fits like. Um, I don't know if this was the right move. I think it's better as a normal, conventional. Uh, well, I cable down. I didn't really get the fit. I, I didn't really find it that comfortable. And, it, and when you did, it took far too long to kind of like align it right. Um, I appreciate them doing something different, but I think it was a bit of a, a little bit of a fast trying to get it right. But then again, it might work good for you, but it is what it is, unfortunately. But yeah, it seems to be the same cable as the, the ST5. Um, yeah, so... I'd include that in the comfort, really. Comfort was so-so, really. But then again, it might suit you better than it did for me. But so, but build quality of everything seems quite good. Obviously, I'd include this in the cable. And yes, it is modular. Obviously, 3.5 is fitted. In the box, is 2.5 and 4.4. Uh, not a problem. Uh, I like what they've done. It's quite useful, really. 
So whatever devices you got, you can just swap between them, which is which is great. And yeah, so power and sensitivity. I didn't find these that difficult to drive. They're not super light, but they're not they're not difficult really either. So yeah, so sound stage obviously is enabled. They always excel, so everything sounds big. IEMs never do that because the sounds from in in the ear canal. This is coming from outside your ear canal. So yes, yeah, stage is actually. Um, it's always good with earbuds, which which this is. Obviously, I used a lot of the time with the foam. I tried it without the foam. I think it was better with it, but that's just my use case. Obviously, everybody's a bit different. Um, imaging, I actually found was okay. It had nice imaging from left to right. I've tried better, and I've tried a lot worse. I thought I was quite happy, quite happy with it, to be honest. And yeah, so talk about sound obviously i can't graph earbuds so i'll, I'll kind of do my um explain what i think of these so the base of them is not very much it's very it's got a very soft attack so typically i listen to electronic music is my favorite but i did try others with this um like someone like uh adele i talk about it for mids she's great on these but for electronic it's not um, they do have bass, but it's very, very soft attack. You don't get the attack that you get with um, what you want with the normal, what you'd expect to get from low end. This doesn't have it. So it's very specific with what you use it with, really. Um, and that's much to say, really. Again, sub bass rolls off. It does have bass, but it's a very, very, very small amount. They're not neutral, but it's just small, like super small attack. And mid-range, um, I actually thought it was actually quite good on these. Again, earbuds are very different from OEMs. Um, and a few of the earbuds I've tried in the past, again, have good mid-range. And these do as well. That's oh, Maybe the star of the show, I'm not quite sure. But the mid-range on these is, is very good, very clear. Um, female vocals are better than male. Male vocals sound thin, which is one of the negatives with this it just sound a bit thin but um yeah mid-range is super clear and transparent which i do like uh and yeah so starting to the treble really um quite a good detailed set very good for orchestral pieces and genres which have um not like electronic which is technically artificial and they're mastered natural music live music maybe like folk or again orchestral sounds very good on these because they've got enough treble um presence but not like not a lot they're not dark they're not nothing like that but the treble presence is actually quite good i do like these but for my actual library i like these don't suit me but for other stuff they're not too bad at all they, they do sound a bit better when you turn the volume up a little bit i found as well uh, obviously with iems you want it the other way obviously cause you have to protect your heaven but yeah the uh, uh, instrument separation seems pretty good again i've heard better but i think these are about 39 i think 39 dollars and i you are getting a good presentation with what you get you don't have to spend any more it's just a weird kind of fit really um and yeah so i'll just take these off Here they are. So conclusion, do I recommend these? 50-50. Um, for my library, I don't recommend them. For people, again, like who may like more bass, light music, orchestral pieces, folk, maybe jazz. It all depends. Um, these might suit you more. But if you like rap, hip-hop, uh, electronic music, anything that's got a thicker low end or sounds better with a thicker low end i don't really recommend these um i have not tried these for gaming but i might do in the uh in the future but i do prefer the sound signature of iems more because i do like that low end but yeah, on the whole they're not a bad set it just depends what these sound like is more for you so these are more mid forward and a bit of treble kind of sound signature um they have enough extension as well they're not a bad set it's just very 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 dependent if they fit you 
Um, and yeah, I'll probably end it there, really. If you want to know in, in, anything in particular, Elise, because on the whole, they are good. They're just very specific. Uh, let me know in the comments, and I'll try and answer them. Obviously, there's so many different genres out there. It's hard to... You might you might like something really, really niche that I haven't tried. So, yeah, so I'll see you in the next video, which may be... There's a lot of good things on the horizon, so keep your eyes peeled. See you in the next video.